Hello, sports fans. This is the Bookmaker Podcast with Art F. Dakari, a.k.a. Mr. Bookmaker, your source for the sports betting industry 24-7. Sit back, relax, and listen as Mr. Bookmaker highlights what's happening right now in the world of sports. So, without further ado, here's your host, Art F. Dakari. All right, sports fans, welcome back to another edition of the Bookmaker Podcast. I'm your host, Art Iftikari. Glad you could join us. Make sure you get to our website. You know the address, bookmakerinfo.com. That's www.bookmaker-info.com. Remember, I want you to take your love of sports to the next level. Don't forget, on our website, we have the links to all the best European, Asian, and United States-friendly bookmaker sites. Don't forget to download our Bookmaker Guide. Make sure you check out our Bookmaker 101 Basics. Now let's get things started with our A to Z sports betting lingo as always. What's our concept for today? Well, this one is past post. Now what does that mean? Well, that is a bet made after the start of a game or a horse race. So even if it's Sunday morning and it's time to watch some NFL football, the games have already started. Don't panic. Get to the right website. Place your wager. Doesn't matter if the game has already started. You can still bet live on a lot of these websites. Like I said, past post. Also, one other thing before we move forward, make sure to check out my blog. It's on our website, bookmakerinfo.com. That's www.bookmaker-info.com. It'll say Mr. Bookmaker Football Blog or Soccer, depending on where you are in the world. So for those of you big time football or soccer fans, check out my blog. You'll learn a few new things about international football and you will get advice on which team you should place a wager on or which team you think will go all the way to win maybe the English Premier League. So like I said, get to my blog. I really would appreciate it. All right, all right. And this coming weekend, we got some fights to pay attention to. Those of you UFC, MMA, mixed martial arts fighting fans, let's get right to it. On Saturday, the 4th of November. And before I continue, yes, I am on bet365.com. That's www.bet365.com. Let's take a look at the lineup for that night. First, you got Cody Garbrandt against TJ Dillashaw. What are the bookies here saying? The odds here show 10 to 17 for Garbrandt, 7 to 5 for TJ Dillashaw. Now for the next fight, two tough women going at it. You have Joanna Jędrzejczyk of Poland going up against Rose Namajunas of the United States. The odds here show 2 to 11 for Joanna Jędrzejczyk, 4 to 1 odds for Rose Namajunas. And what about the over under? The over-under here is set at three and a half. So if you feel like choosing the over, the payout would be four to seven. If you feel like choosing the under, payout would be six to four. Next, Johnny Hendricks against Paolo Boracinha. Johnny Hendricks is favored seven to four odds, 10 to 21 for Paolo Boracinha. George Masvidal will be taking on Stephen Thompson. The odds here show seven to five for Masvidal, 10 to 17 for Stephen Thompson. And of course, the fight you are all waiting for, Michael Bisping against George St. Pierre. Now, the odds here are showing 10 to 11, actually, for Michael Bisping and for George St. Pierre. No joke. But what about if you feel like placing a bet on which round you think your fighter will win? Let's just say you're going for a round one victory. The payout here shows 8 to 1 for Bisping, also 8 to 1 for George St. Pierre. Maybe you're thinking third time's a charm, right? Round three? Payout here is the same for both fighters once again, 20 to 1. So get to bet365.com, place a wager. Or if you really are feeling limber, place a wager on a draw. The payout here is 66 to 1. So don't waste any time. Get yourself to bet365.com. That's www.bet365.com. And before we continue, make sure you check out our website. You know the address, bookmakerinfo.com. That's www.bookmaker-info.com. On our website, you have easy access to the Bookmaker 101 Basics. That includes steps on how to register, bet, and withdraw. Our Bookmaker Guide is available to download. Read through it at least two or three times. Remember, I want you to become an expert on this whole entire online sports betting process. And remember, we have betting strategies, tips. Don't forget about our A to Z sports betting lingo. Remember, you may not sound like an expert just yet, but keep on listening to the Bookmaker Podcast. Check out our website and you'll be good to go. Okay, everybody, another World Cup tournament is taking place, but this is not football or soccer. 
This is the 2017 Rugby League World Cup, and this is taking place in Australia, New Zealand, and Papua New Guinea. And first, I want to take a look at which teams are favored to win the tournament outright. And for that, I am on 10bet.com. That is www.10bet.com. Now, the top five teams favored to win the Rugby League World Cup. Here it shows Australia, 2-11 to odds as the favorites. Next, New Zealand at 15-2, England at 9-1, Tonga at 14-1, Fiji at 100-1. And if you feel like really taking a big risk, actually maybe not that big of a risk at all, place a wager on the United States, France, Scotland, or Wales, who have really unfavorable odds at 1,000-1. to So like I said, get to 10bet.com, but first let's check out some of the matches for this weekend that are available for you to place wagers on, on 10bet.com. This coming weekend, you got Australia facing France. And that game will take place on the 3rd of November. The odds here show 1 to 100 for Australia as they are heavily favored, 23 to 1 for France. Samoa will take on Tonga one day later. Odds here show 33 to 10 for Samoa, 1 to 6 for Tonga, 22 to 1 for a draw. Next, you got Papua New Guinea facing Ireland. You know, when it comes to rugby, Ireland competes as one unified team. So just want to make that little footnote there. That match will take place on the 5th of November. Here the bookies are showing the odds are 2-25 to for Papua New Guinea, 28-1 to for a draw, 19-4 to for Ireland. Italy will play the United States also on the 5th of November. Odds here show 1 to 9 for Italy, 22 to 1 for a draw, 9 to 2 for the United States. Fiji will face Wales also on that same day. The odds here show 1 to 100 for Fiji, 39 to 1 for a draw, 49 to 1 for Wales. So like I said, get to 10bet.com as soon as you can if you want to place a wager on the 2017 Rugby League World Cup. Okay everybody, we are getting closer to wrapping up this edition of the Bookmaker Podcast. But before we do, get to betonline.ag. That's www.betonline.ag. We are entering week nine of the 2017 National Football League season. First, take a look at some of the odds. You know, things change each week. You never know. The Eagles are now 7-1, not just the best record in the NFC, but in the NFL overall. So what are the bookies saying in regards to their odds in going all the way and winning the Super Bowl. Over here on betonline.ag, the odds are at positive 500. The only team with better odds to win the Super Bowl, you guessed it, the New England Patriots with positive 400. You're probably wondering, how can that be? The Eagles have the best record in the NFL. But remember, the Eagles are a young team. Carson Wentz is only a second-year quarterback. But either way, they are getting more and more favorable odds. So let's take a look at some of the marquee matchups this weekend. The Denver Broncos will be on the road against the Philadelphia Eagles. And the Broncos so far, 3-4 and four on a three-game losing streak. Eagles are 7.5 point favorites. Money line is not available just yet, so get to betonline.ag when you can. The Indianapolis Colts will be on the road against the Houston Texans. The Texans are favored by 13 points. The Texans are 3-4. and four. This is a game, of course, they are expected to win. The money line here shows positive 535 for the Colts, negative 700 for the Texans. Check out the prop bets for that game. And what do I mean by a really good prop bet? Well, you probably think that Deshaun Watson is going to throw for three touchdowns and 300 yards. Maybe he'll even rush for 50 yards. He's going to be playing at home against the Colts. Get to bet online as soon as you can. That's betonline.ag. And what about another really exciting game that you should pay attention to? The Kansas City Chiefs at the Dallas Cowboys. Money line not available at the moment. It's a really, really tough decision here for the bookies. As for the Sunday night game, Oakland Raiders on the road against the Miami Dolphins. Raiders favored by three. Money line shows negative 165 for the Raiders, positive 145 for the Miami Dolphins. And as for the Monday night game, Detroit Lions at the Green Bay Packers. Detroit favored by two and a half. The money line is not available just yet. But like I've been telling you, get to betonline.ag and make sure you place some wagers for this coming weekend of the National Football League. 
And with that, everybody, it is time to wrap up this edition of the Bookmaker Podcast. Really do appreciate the support. Make sure you get to our website, you know, the address bookmakerinfo.com. That's www.bookmaker-info.com. I want you to take your love of sports to the next level. And with that, you need to check out our Bookmaker 101 Basics, and you must download our Bookmaker Guide. Thank you, everybody, for listening to this edition of the Bookmaker Podcast. We'll see you next time. This has been the Bookmaker Podcast with Art F. Takari, a.k.a. Mr. Bookmaker. Thanks for listening. If you haven't already, please show some love by subscribing to this podcast on iTunes or Stitcher. Till next time, this is Mr. Bookmaker over and out.